Attention Shh. for grown women only. Mark your calendars, lady. Sunday, March 13th, 2 p.m. Eastern. That's Sunday, March 13th, 2 p.m. Eastern. The Secret Money in Your Womb, Part 4. We're going to be talking about the treasure trove embodiment. We as divine feminine women, we're able to magnetize resources for our lives and those that are within our magnetic field using our irresistible divine feminine essence. Y'all know I'm getting ready to drop the jewels, ladies. You don't want to miss it. And we're going to have a very yummy dress code. And for the brothers, for that lovely lady in your life, make sure she's there. Even though it's for women only, you can sponsor the lovely lady in your life. You'll thank me later. Go to unpurposewithvicky.com. That's unpurposewithvicky.com. The link is below. I can't wait to see you there. Hello everyone, it's me, Demetra K of the Demetra K Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel and the African Diaspora News Insider. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So the Congressional Black Caucus has formed a war room to let any and everybody in know, especially the right wing, that they will not tolerate any foolishness in regards to the nomination of Judge Katanji Brown Jackson. Now, as you guys know, Joe Biden has nominated her to be the next Justice of the Supreme Court. And so they have gotten together, they being the CBC, have gotten together to come up with strategies to combat things that may come out against her. And so some of those things they're prepared to do are as follows. Watching vigilantly how conservative media outlets discuss Jackson using previously prepared talking points that were distributed to CBC members Friday, having black female congressional members heighten their support for Jackson and challenge unfounded GOP attacks that attempt to portray Jackson as a leftist and a radical, responding individually in tweets and release statements to attack against the nominee. All right. So they've got their stuff together. They're, you know, going to be on the front lines battling the GOP and right wing. And I guess anybody else who has anything bad to say about, you know, Miss Jackson. And I guess they should, you know, it, it, it's very smart to do that. But my thing is this, where is all this vigilance for the rest of black people? Where are these war rooms that you guys have together to say, okay, sisters and brothers, Let's get together and get our people reparations. Let's get these, you know, uh, crime bills redone over so our people can be set free and get rid of these mandatory minimums. Let's get the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act uh, passed. Like, where is the war room for us? Why have they gotten so staunch about uh, that of Miss Jackson? I'm curious, right? I'm not saying they shouldn't, but where was all this vigor? When we need y'all, right? Y'all, y'all the Congressional Black Caucus with the operative word being black, but you do everything for everybody else except for black people. But I guess, you know, maybe uh, Miss Jackson, that counts that you guys are going on a war path to protect her name and to get her rammed up into the Supreme Court. I don't know. But anyway, so let me get to this. Sheila Jackson Lee said this, she will be a great justice and a role model to women and girls everywhere, especially little black girls, that in America, all things are possible with hard work and determination. And she is absolutely right, okay? But all girls or black girls and women don't have the war machine that Miss Jackson has. Because if they did, which is why y'all supposed to be up there in Washington, the Congressional Black Caucus, helping black people, if other black girls and women had that type of support, yeah, they could do all things. All right, so let me get on to this next quote by that of um, Representative Joyce Beatty. And she said this, Sadly, we know that black women in positions of power often face the ugliest forms of racist and sexist attacks. Despite this, in the immoral words of immortal, I'm sorry, words of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., we shall overcome because the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. She's absolutely right. But again, sister, 
I want to see the war room fashion for black people all over America because that's what you're supposed to be doing. Not when one of your, you know, elite class members are going to try to get a, you know, a good job or whatever the case is. And so you guys want to get together and waste taxpayers money to get these war rooms. Cause they said they fashioned this war room like a month ago when it, you know, well, Joe Biden in 2020 announced that he would be selecting a black woman to go to the Supreme court. And so a month ago, they got together to come up with all these strategies and things that they would do to combat this, that, and the other. It's like, well, we, we, we need y'all to do that for us too, because that's why we send you to Washington. So anyway, y'all, for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace. Hello, everyone. Please make sure you subscribe to the African Diaspora News Channel app on these platforms.